friends, welcome to TFI. This is a talking head video. I'm just going to be firing from the hip here, no script, uh, freestyling this. I'm going to get some thoughts off my chest regarding product design collection uh, and how I think it should change. This is just my opinion. Uh, it's not fact, it is just my opinion. Other people will have different opinions and will think differently to me. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I was going to give a bit of a speech in history of product design collection and how it's morphed and mutated its way from the, the sweets of the past but it was going to be a 30 minute long video and that's just way too long for something like this so I'm just going to try and be as to the point as I can be which I'm not very good at doing. So product design collection, if you're not familiar with what that is then this video is probably not going to mean a lot to you um, but product design collection is a, a collection of Autodesk tools. It's one of three collections that Autodesk do aimed at different industries. Product design collection is as in the name, it's intended for product designers. You subscribe to it for a year in English money, it's 2,250 English pounds for a year's subscription to it. In the US, it's about $2,480. And that 2,250 English pounds will get you approximately 13 different software applications, which Autodesk would say assists a product designer's workflow. They're intended for a product designer, product design collection. And inside product design collection, you get Inventor Professional, which is the flagship product of the collection. Uh, you get AutoCAD Vanilla, AutoCAD Mechanical, AutoCAD Architecture, AutoCAD Electrical, 3D Studio Max, Recap, Factory Design Utilities, Fusion 360, some mobile apps, uh, cloud storage, that kind of thing, some cloud services. So there's a whole bunch of different programs inside Product Design Collection, approximately 13 of them. And I'm of the opinion, and this is just my opinion, I'm going to repeat that because people like to think that I'm, you know, it's, it's the internet. It's the internet. People are like, oh, you're wrong. That's my opinion. I can't be wrong. Uh, I'm of the opinion that Product Design Collection has completely lost its original purpose. It's lost its its intention in life. Its original intention was to be a suite of utilities to help a product designer through their entire workflow. Back in the day, you'd have Sketchbook as the start of your conceptual design, and then you'd push that through into AutoCAD, and Inventor, and the Showcase for the final render. We just don't have that anymore. It's just a in my opinion, a jumbled random assortment of random crap that Autodesk have just put in there uh, and called it product design collection. But the stuff in there bears no resemblance to what a product designer does or needs to do their job. So where I'm coming from, I currently manage two clients. Both of these clients are typical textbook inventor users. They're product design companies, mechanical engineering companies. Uh, one of them is uh, an industrial food company, a uh, food machinery company. They do massive industrial machines that put Pepsi into cans, dog food into bags, crisps, fry them, oil them, season them, put them into bags, that kind of thing. You need a machine that does that, they'll do one uh, that does the job very efficiently. The second company is a subsea machinery company, completely unrelated, totally opposite ends of the spectrum here. Underwater ROVs, remotely operated vehicles on a tether, seabed tractors, plows, trenches, that kind of thing. Uh, and they use Inventor as well. Across both of these companies, we've got approximately 300 licenses in total, most of them product design collection and vault professional. Yeah, I'd say about, you know, 200 to 250 design engineers. And every year, uh, when I come to do the upgrades for the next Autodesk platform, I only really ever give most of these engineers, in fact, I'd say, I'd go as far as to say them all, Inventor and AutoCAD out of the product design suite and collection. That's it. The rest of the products, Navisworks, Max, uh, Fusion 360, all the other stuff, just, just don't give them it. They don't need it. Nobody's ever came to me out of these 300 users. Nobody's ever came to me with a requirement for anything in the collection. So I found myself, when I do the network deployments for the new version, I only ever give them Inventor and AutoCAD. So there's a lot to discuss around that. I know somebody's gonna say, well, you could give them it anyway. You don't know that somebody's gonna need it. They don't know they need it until they try and use it. There is a massive discussion to be had around that. But all I'll really say to that is, I know these two companies extraordinarily well. They come to me when they have a requirement and I answer it with a solution. And that requirement's just never came up. Also, it's not reasonable, in my opinion, to expect somebody, if you give them, for example, 3D Studio Max out of the collection, in six months time, if there is a requirement for 3D Studio Max, it's not reasonable to expect that person to just pick it up on a whim instantly and start using it for, you know, in a productive way. That person needs well, you could say they arguably would need a training course, then they'd need months of practice to get to a point where they'd be able to use the software efficiently. Some people might be able to fumble their way through it fine, other people will just be completely lost. It's not reasonable to expect someone to just pick up a new bit of software and use it at that very moment in time when the, the need arises. So 
are, they, are these other bits of software in the collection which aren't that useful? Are they nice to have? Some would say yes, I'd say no, especially given the cost of the collection. It's 2,250 English pounds a year. That's a lot of money for a lot of software which just doesn't get used. It's sitting around and in hindsight, it hasn't been used. That nice to have, if you ever need it, just hasn't happened. So it's a lot of money for a lot of software that's not getting used. If I was to put all that software on these people's desktops in the event of that time where they might use it, they're just a bunch of shortcuts on these people's desktops. It's not reasonable again for them to know which bit of software would suit their requirement. That requirement that's never came up. So let's take a pragmatic approach to this. Yes, there is a lot more to talk about around this. I could stretch this out to be a much, much longer video. Looking at Autodesk's overall software portfolio, they have a lot more uh, products which would be better suited for a product design collection than what's in there right now. For example, AutoCAD Electrical. I don't know of a single mechanical engineer, and I've worked in an Autodesk reseller, platinum reseller, for a good eight years. I've been up and down the UK into hundreds of different companies. I've never met a mechanical engineer who's been through four years or however long of university, uh, gotten into mountains of debt, put themselves through hours and hours and hours of hard work, to then end up in a mechanical engineering job doing electrical design. It's, I've never seen anybody do that. If you do that, if you are the jack of all trades, uh, I'd again controversially maybe say that you're in the minority, a, a huge minority. Most people come out of university with a trade, that's what they do. Electrical engineers aren't asked to do hydraulic design, mechanical engineers aren't asked to do the next Pepsi commercial using 3D Studio Max. It's just not their job, they use the tool that they need to do their job with. So buying a licensed product design collection for an electrical engineer, for example, just doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, and there's two ways you could approach this. You could say, well, you could buy a licensed product design collection for a company. It has a software product in there that would suit every discipline within a company. And yes, you'd be right. Yes, you would. Yes, you could have, we do, we have that. We have a mechanical department, we have an electrical department, but we wouldn't buy one licensed product design collection and share that between multiple departments. Each department has a budget and they buy licenses for members of staff. And typically over here, that's how that works. We get a new member of staff and you buy them a license for that person. You don't buy it and share it throughout the entire company. You can network the licenses, but again, you buy a license and make sure you've got a one-to-one -one ratio for staff. It doesn't make sense to buy an electrical engineer, a product design collection and share that with a mechanical team. It's not really how it works in most companies over here. Uh, there will be exceptions to that, obviously. So looking at Autodesk's product portfolio, the other software packages that they have, which would be better suited for the design collection, for example, AutoCAD Electrical in the product design collection. Remove AutoCAD Electrical and put in Nastran. Every mechanical design engineer that I know of and have ever come across will do at some point in their design phase, they'll do some kind of simulation. So surely Nastran is better suited for product design collection than AutoCAD Electrical. Remove 3D Studio Max and put in CFD or Moldflow. What about uh, Fusion 360? It is a phenomenal piece of software. Fusion 360 is immensely useful for students, for hobbyists, for people learning 3D CAD, for small, very small businesses who can't really realistically afford product design collection. It is great for them. It is a brilliant bit of software and undoubtedly it's the future. But a big engineering company that are buying product design collection en masse who are already using Inventor and they have staff trained on the use of Inventor in a back catalogue of Inventor data, can't see them using Fusion 360. So let's remove Fusion 360 from product design collection and put in all professional. Big engineering companies with mountains of data and mountains of staff, they need digital change management, they need digital revision management. So why not put Vault Professional in there or Vault Workgroups? There are other products far more suited for a product designer and a product design company than what's in there right now. What about Navisworks? Navisworks has a, it's, it's a, again, a brilliant bit of software. 3D Studio Max is a brilliant piece of software, but the average mechanical design engineer or product designer just won't find themselves using it. Is it nice to have? It's an expensive nice to have. It's an expensive bit of software to just hope you might use it and what you'll find in hindsight is you didn't use it. You tried to and then you gave up and you found another way of using it, the path of least resistance. So I think product design collection needs to change. I, I do, I really genuinely think it needs to change. I mean, another example, and there's the, the A360 cloud rendering services that come with it. Yeah, that's not software as such, but there's only one product in product design collection that can actually use the A360 cloud rendering servers, and that's Fusion 360. The rest of the software in there can't use it. Um, so, <laughs> I don't get it. Factory design utilities, again, magical bit of software. Brilliant for anyone doing big shop floor factory layouts. 
that kind of thing. But again, typical mechanical designer, it's not going to do factory layouts. It might, it might do once in a blue moon, but that's not really the basis of giving every single user access to it. It's just, it, it's a product that could be better placed with something else. So I've, I'm no doubt, I've no doubt that I've pissed on a few people's parade. There will be people out there who do use these other bits of software and obviously what I'm saying isn't gonna happen. <laughs> oh, that's I'm gonna go, oh, yeah, you're right actually, yeah, let's do that and then just do over everybody else. That's not gonna happen, but I just do think that there are certain bits of software in there that absolutely should not be there. Prime example is AutoCAD Electrical and 3D Studio Max no place whatsoever inside product design collection. So that's my thoughts on the matter. Uh, I've got no doubt that there'll be a lot of people with a lot of opinions on this that differ greatly from mine. That's fine, that's absolutely fine. Uh, let me know down below. I'll try, and, I'll try and keep on top of the comments if I can, and I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.